Hi, on the last video on the series regarding taking back control of your diabetes, I'm going to talk about diabetic neuropathy and taking care of your feet. Poorly controlled diabetes over a long time causes damage to the small blood vessels that supply blood to your nerves. So the damage to the nerves can lead to diabetic neuropathy, one of the most difficult complications of diabetes to manage. So there could be three different types of diabetic neuropathy. First is sensory neuropathy. So this is when you start losing sensation in your legs. You might get pins and needles in your legs and you might not feel any pain at all over time. And the second part of diabetic neuropathy is something called autonomic neuropathy. When this happens, you sometimes lose control of your bladder and you might have trouble with um, keeping food down. So most people have something called diabetic gastroparesis where they suffer from vomiting soon after eating food. And the third aspect of diabetic neuropathy is motor. So this leads to muscle wasting and over time can lead to weaknesses in your muscles. So focusing a little bit on your feet. So if you develop diabetic neuropathy over time, what happens is you start losing sensation on your feet. So you could go hit your leg on a rock and you might not feel a thing. So this is quite dangerous because if you have wounds or ulcers in your feet, you might not know it for days and days. And the other thing that happens is when you have no sensation in your feet you keep using the same areas of your feet and you start getting skin thickening so under these skins small ulcers or wounds can develop and then over time this they can get infected even in uk where there is a very robust service to look after diabetic feet amputation happens every hour so it is a very serious complication of diabetes and this leads to permanent disability for many people. If you are a diabetic and if you have some loss of sensation in your feet, you must have a look at your feet every day. You need to make this a habit to make sure there is no uh, wounds or small ulcers. And if you have thickened skin, ideally you need to go to a podiatrist to get those thickened skin removed. Every person with diabetes should have their feet checked at least once a year by a doctor or a trained diabetic nurse specialist. During this, they usually check for sensation of your feet to establish whether you have early diabetic neuropathy in your feet. If you have diabetic neuropathy in your feet and if there's any signs of small wounds or in, uh, ulcers that looks infected, you should seek medical attention immediately. On the comments section of this video, there are some great links for videos which explain how you can test for sensation of your feet and how to look after your feet. There's a simple test called touch the toe test, which is so easy to do and you can keep a track of diabetic neuropathy on your feet with this simple test. Remember, diabetic neuropathy is one of the leading causes of feet amputation worldwide and in many developing countries. Sometimes this leads to death because of severe infection as well. Thank you.